Happy Thanksgiving! Woo! <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so excited to be here. I'm Jackie. I'm Marcia. And we are here to do a meal prep with Marcia, but it's meal meal prep with the plant Plenty. chicks. I know. You guys, this is the first time doing meal prep with Jackie of our plant chicks thing because it's kind of, she's in town. <laughs> I know. I'm so excited. And we have an incredible Thanksgiving dinner, Thanksgiving, Friendsgiving that we are going to prepare. I think we have five things we're making. So it might take a little bit longer than an hour to do the entire, entire show, but it's super exciting because this is an incredible meal that you can make for the holidays and it has a bazillion plants. <laughs> Yeah, the point is we want you to add more plants to your plate. It doesn't matter if it is a regular day or a holiday. And a lot of you guys are going plant-based for the holidays and want to know what can I eat? What do some you know, what does somebody who eats plant-based, what do they eat for Thanksgiving or Christmas? So we're gonna show you five amazing, I would say 90, 89% whole food plant-based, and the rest is a little bit of vegan fun that we're gonna have all together. That way you have a mainly healthy and nutritious dinner without sacrificing flavor, because it's gonna be delicious. It is gonna be so good, and we have friends coming over after, so we can't wait to eat all of this after. Super excited. I'm excited. Yep. Yeah, me too. We're gonna to have our friends giving after, so let's do this. Let's get started. All right, we're starting with healthy vegan pecan pie tartlets. So with this, we have everything. So this is one of the things, these little, uh, how everything is already partitioned out, it's called mise en place. So this is like cutting down all of our prep time and everything when we have everything laid out the way we need it. Trust so, me, I just learned that term today. <laughs> and the only reason I knew it is because I did, a, what was it, Ruby. It's a culinary cooking school online. It was incredible. <laughs> I'm like, mise en place? I knew it was a restaurant in Tampa, but I didn't know what it meant. Oh, that's so fun. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So with the walnut tart shell, Yep. We're going to add these. We have to come them up. So instructions. What we did though first before we started, we're soaking the medjool dates in water to soften them up a little bit. And that is about, let's see, this is a one and a half cups of soaked dates. They've been soaking for at least 30 minutes, a little bit longer. So we are going to, where are we? Food processor. In, 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 Include the one and three quarter cup walnuts. Okay. Three medjool dates, pitted dates, and a pinch of salt. Oh, let's get a pinch of salt. Yeah, always need salt. Salt brings out that flavor. So walnuts are good for the brain. Dates, even though they're a healthy sugar, they're high in fiber. So these are good and nutritious, something sweet. And this is actually going to be the dessert that we're going to make first. And it's super good. Now we blend it. Now we blend it. Blend, blend, blend. I okay. was doing a little plant chicks dance party if that blends. This might be loud. Dance it out. Dance it out. Dance chicks. Dance the party. Do the grind. Do the grind. <laughs> I love that Jackie's entertaining you. <laughs> we have to, right? We're gonna have fun on these bad boys. Well, that was fast. Well, no, I'm just going to stir it around for a second. All right. Got round two real quick. So this bad boy muffin tin, this is a silicone muffin tin, and Marcy and I both got it on Prime Day. This is going to be so much fun. But this is what we're using for the tartlets. This is going to be our dessert, and it's perfect because it's just like one bite, a couple bites for a dessert. It's like the perfect sweetness, and it's super healthy for us because Literally, this is a plant-based, this is a plant-based, it's not even a vegan dessert because it is whole food plant-based. There's no processed foods in here. The only processing is what you just saw Marcia do where she chopped it up. I yeah. mean, it literally is a processing. Yeah, no refined sugar, nothing. So it's like healthy fat, fiber, tons of fiber. And you guys, this is not gonna make you feel gross after. And they're little bites. So if it's too sweet for you, you can have a couple bites versus eating a big serving of pecan pie. Because I know me, if I have a big serving, like my eyes are bigger than my stomach, I almost get so sick eating it after, so. And if you're like me, you can have two of these. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is processed. We'll yes, so now we're gonna spoon it in here. Okay. And we just line those little gimmicks. 
I like my technical terms. Gimmicks. Gimmicks. Perfect. So this is like the little stuffing, like the pie oh, shell. Yeah, like the little crust. Crust. That is the word I'm looking for. Yeah, so what you do is just smash it in. It's kind of pliable, right? So you're just going to smash it in, like into a crust form. Look how that forms into a beautiful crust. I might need some more in some of these. If you want to spoon them in, I can, put, I can push them down a little bit. Let's do that. Teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work. Yes. And it is like soft and mushy because the walnuts have some fat, so it's going to make it a little bit softer. And then you also add in those dates that makes it soft and pliable. It's going to give it that sweetness. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, because dates will bring that oil to it. It's got that nice, healthy oil. The walnuts. I mean, sorry, the walnuts, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the dates have a little sweetness to it. <laughs> The healthy sugar. A lot of people are like, like freaked out to eat dates because they're like, oh my god, it's not high in sugar. But actually, dates have fiber. So we know that dates are attached to fiber. So if the sugar is attached to fiber, it's actually healthy for you. Yes, and we want to eat whole fruits because the fiber is in there. There's healthy nutrition in fruit, healthy vitamins, minerals, phyto phytochemicals goodies. Wow, this is oh my goodness, amazing. Thing. Gosh, I know. Oh, let's add a little bit more in here if we can. Yes. And if you're not a punk, uh, not a pumpkin pie, but a pecan pie fan, you will be a beast. <laughs> I know. These are super delicious. I cannot wait to eat these in an hour. <laughs> I know it takes an hour to freeze, but they're so worth it. Have you guys ever uh, froze dates? Oh my god. Oh. Freezing dates. And peanut butter are amazing. And you can add some vegan chocolate chips on there. Oh, yum. That's a really good one. I think you've done that in one of your meal preps. I have, yeah. Such a good, healthy, delicious treat. All right. Now then, Jackie, All right. I smashed them. <laughs> I'm going to rinse this out because I think we have to do it again. Okay. For the pecan pie filling part, which is going to be so good. So as you can see, we like she was mentioning, we got these from Prime Day. These are amazing. They're easy. You know what I like about the silicone thing? You can just pop it out. Like, you just go, Burp, real easy. Like, whether it's frozen, you bake it. It's so easy versus you got the metal one. You have to lay it with parchment paper to pop it out. Oil Lots on of, there. Yes, oil. So this just makes it easier. Whoever thought of this is genius. This is, like, the best thing you could do. Best thing to do is sliced bread. That's right. <laughs> and if you guys have any questions or comments, please put it on the on the questions below. Um, we'll we'll take your questions. Um, also, um, if you're new to Amazon, Amazon Live, down below you'll see a carousel. Any of the things that we're using, like this silicone baking sheet, Vitamix, all that, it is down below. Just spin to the carousel and you guys can purchase it there. All right, so we just are going to, we're gonna make the pumpkin pie filling now. So we soak the one and a half cups of dates in water for at least 30 minutes, maybe a little bit longer. And now we're just going to add them to the food processor. And we're going to use a little bit of the water that they soaked in. If we need a little bit more, you can pour it from here. Yes. The reason Marcia is doing the blending is because I don't know how to work for Vitamix. <laughs> She's like, blend away. I don't know how you blend. She's the blend tech. I have a Vitamix. And she's got the cool Vitamix, too. <laughs> Oh, definitely sounds like it needs a little bit of water, doesn't it? It needs a little bit more water. There's water there that okay. the dates were soaking in. And the reason you guys that we use the water the dates are soaking in is because it gets nice and sweet. So we'll just add a little extra sweetness to it. There's more water if you need it. Gotcha. Mm, mm, mm. And you guys are seeing us cooking this live. What we're going to make, it takes uh, these five recipes. This will take a little more than an hour. So think about that. That's not bad for Thanksgiving prep. I know. That's really amazing, actually. Oh, boy. Yes, Tiffany. How are you? I know. We were saying the same thing. So Tiffany says that she's hungry and she wants us to send some to Frisco. More than likely, there's not going to be any left. Look at this. Oh, yeah. I'm going to show them. You guys see, it makes this paste. Mm. Oh, my, oh, my gosh. So then we just spoon that in here. And then we add a little bit of 
the con half on top. So we see what are we putting in that? Yes, we use it like this. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> You're oh, right. We have. We, we got this. We have to use this. <laughs> I've actually never used one of these little pastry bags. It's so fun. Oh my gosh, yes. It is totally fun. I want to see how you fill that bad boy. Yeah, it takes a second to kind of get it down. So let's use our little spoon here. But it just makes it easier. So when you're spooning in your stuff, yeah, you can divide it more evenly. So it takes a second, but this is your healthy sugar right here. This is the filling and it's almost caramelized. It is. And if you guys want it, like if you are looking for a really good caramel sauce, because obviously caramel sauce is not vegan or plant-based really, but if you want a really delicious caramel sauce, this is how you make it. You use the dates and water. You can add a little couple extra seasonings in there or flavoring, but this is it. Boom, boom, boom. And when we get this done, so we're going to pipe the pecan filling in, which is literally just dates and water. We'll put a little pecan half on top. We'll put these in the freezer for an hour so that by the time we're done, we'll be able to pull them out and we'll be able to show you what they look like. And literally when you have like any kind of date filling and you freeze it, you want to eat it after you take it out of the freezer. You want to eat it within like 20-ish minutes because the dates actually, they start to melt a little bit. So you just want to make sure that you're ready to eat so you don't have them sitting out. Oh my gosh, this looks so pretty. Oh my goodness. It's kind of have a hard time squeezing out. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we will be spooning in it. We might be spooning this in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to laugh if it goes. <laughs> You guys, our thing is always something, and this is always something. Yeah, we might have to just spoon it in. It might be easier. So here's a little thing. Oh. I'm going to take this off, and it's open wider. Like oh, this. voila. There we go. Oh, it looks like a little fiber slay. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, if you don't know what that is, <laughs> Jackie and Light them. <laughs> yeah, so fiber slayer is a plant chicks mascot. So what happens when you start eating the plant chicks way, which is whole food plant-based, then you end up going to the bathroom a little bit more often. And we're not talking number one, we're talking number two, I eat Fiber Slayer. So you might be seeing Fiber Slayer instead of like maybe a couple times a week or even once a day, you might be Fiber Slaying like two, three times a day. But they're the good like level four, Fiber slay that you want the good healthy poo. I so. love it. She calls them <laughs> level, level four. We are talking about fiber slay during our pecan. <laughs> Hopefully, you won't think about that when we're eating these delicious tartlets. No. <laughs> Yumsies. These are going to be so good. They really I are. Oh my gosh, I know. It's almost like we might need more date though. Oh. Yeah. You know what, we might, we, how about we just freeze these and I'll soak some extra dates. Sure, for the next ones. Yeah, for the next ones. And then by the time we're done, Sounds we're like gonna pull these out and see some done ones. Yes. Oh, that's perfect. We can make some more for later. Yes, I love it. Love it. So she's putting these little pecans on top. Just like a little pecan pie. They're pecan house, yummy, yummy. This is super cute, by the way. I oh. know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think we're good on this. I do. This is hilarious. All right, do you want to show them kind of what it looks like, and I'll start. Yeah. Getting some dates out. Okay. And I'll put these. So you know, when it comes to Thanksgiving, there's lots of cleaning and prepping. Oh, we need a couple more pecans. You done? Oh, yeah, right here. Yeah, for the tops. Totally missed them. Jackie. I know. Oh my enough. goodness. We gotta get that. I know. <laughs> so as you guys can see, these little pecan pies with pecan on top. So we're gonna put this in the freezer. Jackie's gonna sew some more dates. And I'm just gonna take these and put them in my freezer. Can't wait. And with these dates, we already have the pitted dates. Get them from Whole Foods. Fresh potato, whole dates, organic, of course. And what I'm doing is I'm just opening them up. They're actually already pre-cut, which I love. 
they're pretty nice. So before it was like one and a half cups and we need not quite that much, but I'm just gonna soak a bunch of these because who doesn't need a little extra like caramel sauce or date filling? This is always good. I love that it tastes like caramel. Me too, girl, <laughs> me too. So good. One of my faves. Okay, so any questions on here? What's your favorite food on a Thanksgiving table? I make a delicious caramel sauce using dates to put my ice cream. Mm. Oh my gosh, that's a hard one. You know what? We're gonna be making a green bean casserole, which I really do like some green bean casseroles. I think that's one of my faves. I like my lentil loaf with mushroom gravy. Which yeah. we're also making, and that's a perfect segue, Marcia, because that's what we're preparing next. Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't know. We, we have like, there's so many, I just like Thanksgiving. I feel like there's so many great foods. It's just the combination, like having a little bit of everything on the plate and just tasting everything, you know, just so like you're so grateful and, you know, to time and prep and love. That's one of the things. So one thing that makes our food so delicious is we are making it with love. And this is going to be so much fun because we're preparing this Friendsgiving, Thanksgiving meal for some of our friends and also Keith, Marcia's husband. And literally we're making this with love and it's so much fun. So it's just gonna be super delish and I couldn't be more grateful to be here. It's gonna be fun. It is. And we have neighbors coming over to try this for the first time. And what's crazy is we've actually made this stuff but we don't make it very often. So that's why we had to print all our recipes <laughs> because I'm like, okay, I haven't made this in a while. So what do I need? We literally had to go to one of our ebooks and print off the recipe. That's what we did, yeah. <laughs> so in our seven day ebook, we have our lentil loaf. It's one of our popular ones. So if you like meatloaf or in replace of a chick, I would say turkey for Thanksgiving, we're doing a lentil loaf with mushroom gravy. So, okay, so we have lentils, water, ground flaxseed. Yeah, we made the flax egg. So we used three tablespoons of ground flaxseed and we added in about a third cup of water and you see how it's nice and gelled in there? This is a great substitute for eggs, and this is really gonna help combine or congeal, like solidify the lentil loaf. It's gonna be really good. And we use, instead of making the lentils from scratch, and remember lentils, they're super, super high in protein, super high in fiber, super high in deliciousness. But with the, um, we just use canned lentils. But we just blend it up about three quarters of two cans of lentils, and that's what we're gonna be using for the base of the meatloaf. And we left the other for something else, to be dot, dot, dot. <laughs> <laughs> to be continued. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, so, so go ahead. Yeah, I was gonna say, we're gonna saute. Um, basically, we're gonna add, we're gonna saute the veggies in there. So, nope. Nope. Yep. Yeah. And she was like, yeah. <laughs> Let's see, guys. So the vegetables. Yep. Let's yep. saute the veggies. Saute the veggies. All right. You have to take me home. Here we go. Oh, let me. Sorry, Jackie doesn't know how to do the pots and pans yet. Oopsie. You would think that I would know how to work a stove, which I do. But you know, all different, all ovens and stoves and microwaves and whatever. They're all different. They're all a little different. She's like, wait, what? Exactly. So we let that warm up a little bit before we throw in the low sodium veggie broth, and with the lentil loaf. We are going to saute first, it's the onions and garlic. And then we'll add in some bell pepper, a small cut up bell pepper. And when you cut up your vegetables, you want to make sure that you cut the vegetables all in about the same size so they cook evenly, thoroughly. And you don't like overcook some and undercook others. So fun side note, Marcia is the best chopper, so she chops everything. <laughs> when I chop things, they are not like identical in size and shape and whatever. So it can be a little scary at times. So literally, you are. You're a chopper. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a great chopper, though. <laughs> okay, so we're going to let that heat up. But what happens is with a lentil loaf, you have a ton of different veggies you're going to mix with it and spices. So when we cook it, it's going to taste like... Uh, I'm not, I can't even, like, last time we made it was at Jackie's house. So good. And if you guys miss meatloaf, this is a replacement for meatloaf. It tastes just like meatloaf. I'm not even kidding you, it's crazy. It's so good. Yes. And when we, are, don't make it for holidays. Well, you actually like it with the mushroom gravy. I hear you. Yeah. 
I like it. I like, I used to love meatloaf. My mom made the best meatloaf, but on top she would put ketchup. So when I'm not having it for a holiday meal, I do like to use that primal fit ketchup and put it on top. It's a glaze, but it's a holiday. So we're using yeah. mushroom gravy and a gravy is really better. good. Yeah. It's going to be amazing. Okay, so this is heating up and we're going to add our onions. And that's about one small onion. And our garlic. And how much garlic was this like? Well, it called for like four cloves, and I think I put in five or six because, oh, yeah, you never have enough garlic. We yeah. <laughs> love our garlic. We do. Garlic, but there's more fire from the breath, the better. Oh, yes. So we are just going to saute this. And this, you saute for a few minutes, like maybe three or four minutes. And, and a veggie broth. Yep. So a lot of times people are, they always cook with, oil and one of the things that we really encourage you to do and that's how pretty much all of our recipes are and any of our plant tricks programs is we you, we saute with either water or low sodium veggie broth every once in a while we use regular veggie broth so it's not necessarily low sodium so we kind of oscillate between the two but it's typically low sodium veggie broth or water so she's sauteing those bad boys. It's going to, we really wish there was a smell button here. It does smell good. It really does. I want to count how many plant points. If you guys missed Marcia's meal prep with Marcia, I think it was the very first one she did. She did, she cooked some recipes out of fiber fuel. And one of the things that Dr. B talks about in his book, Fiber Fueled, is plant points. Like you want to have the more plant points, the better, because that's that'll help diversify your gut microbiome. And you hear Marcia talking about diversifying the gut microbiome all the time on her on these Amazon lives. So the way you do that, you eat more plants. And let's see here: we've got lentils, ground flaxseed, onions, bell pepper, celery, carrots, oatmeal. All right, that's seven plant points. And then we've got some different seasonings in there. Yeah. Seasonings don't count. Seven plant points in our lentil loaf. That's pretty common. And we had walnuts, pecans, and dates in the dessert. That's three plant points. So we're already up to 10. Yep. I'm gonna have to write this down because I'm gonna forget. You guys have to help like keep us accountable for these plant points that we're gonna have. And one thing when you count your plant points, so we're gonna have pecans in a couple different things. So we don't count pecans twice because we're already having it in one of the rest. Makes sense. Oh, it's looking good. It's smelling good. It's getting sauteed. Here's, here's a game for you guys. How many plant points will you have at your Thanksgiving? How many? Count. Find out. I'm kind of curious. Tag us. I know. Yeah. Tag us. Seriously. We want to know. We'll let you know at the end of this one will we have total as a tally. I'm going to grab a pen because I'm go, not going to remember. Go do that. Yeah, grab a pen. You have three for dessert, seven for the lentil loaves. It's cooking up nice. You guys. Don't you love the smell of onions and garlics cooking? So good. Oh, yes. And we can never have enough onion or garlic. Oh, my goodness. Plant points. I'm writing this down. <laughs> you guys, I'm so glad you guys can join Jackie and I cooking together. Because, you know, she lives in Miami. I live in Austin. We usually do things together, but obviously since COVID happened, we've been apart from each other for seven months. And now we're starting to fly back and forth to see each other. And I'm like, now you guys get to see us together. And we were like, oh my gosh, it's been like forever. It has been forever. We had one in, it was like February so that we saw each other earlier, earlier this yep. year. And it was only like two or three weeks ago yep. that I was out here last time. So it's actually, this is almost like we're back to normal. And you know what I like the uh, most about being here? <laughs> I love hugging. I miss hugging. Yes. And whenever we're doing workouts, we're always talking about you need to build up those arms so you can get those big solid hugs. So oh, the hugs. They may not know we have a new program coming out called Lit. Let's get lit. It's low intensity interval training, and it's for anybody who is if you are, if not into high intensity, right? High intensity is like jumping. So if you're not really into jumping. You're new to working out, maybe you're pregnant, maybe you're recovering, coming back from injuries, you have arthritis, maybe you're an athlete and you need something to do on your off days that you still want to move, this program is for you. So we created this program because we do get a lot of ladies, we're over 40, I'm 46, Jackie's 51, 
and they're like, we do some custom programs, and they're like, I want something but no jumping. Like, I'll work out, I'll lift weights, I'll do this, I'll do yoga, bar, but I don't want to be jumping. And Jackie and I are like, you know what? We get this request a lot, especially with women over 40. They're, they're done, these are women who've worked out many, many years, and they're just done jumping. They're like, I have back issues, you know, I have wrist issues, I have ankle issues, knee issues. And we're like, let's create a, a program that's low intensity. So we started doing some research and we found out there's a study out there that compared HIT to LIT, so high intensity to low intensity, and it turns out they're exactly the same, but you have to do 15 more minutes of LIT, low intensity, to equate to HIT. So just 15 more minutes. So for instance, in this, this study that they did, they, they took obese adults and they had half of the, them did lit and half of them did hit. They had the same exact results. And the only thing was the, the other half who did lit did 15 more minutes of exercise. They burned the same amount of calories. They built muscle. It was amazing. So we loved this study. We were like, oh my gosh, let's create a program based off the study. So for an extra 15 minutes, so our program is 45 minutes. So instead of 30 minutes, it's 45 minutes. So how beautiful is that? So a 45 minute workout, less than an hour, you are going to be building muscle, burning fat, still getting the same effect without any jumping. And you guys, we're so sore. We, we like Jackie and I, she flew out here a couple weeks ago. We, <laughs> we filmed like the first part of the program, like two weeks worth of workouts. And we were so sore. And then of course, she came back out here again this week to do the other half. And again, we were so sore, we're like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. It's, it obviously works, it's hard, it's effective, and it has a combination of strength training, cardiovascular, believe it or not, cardiovascular without jumping, and we got stretching. So it's a combination of all three components to give you like a well-rounded workout program. So you do incorporate strength for your muscles and your bones, cardiovascular for your heart, your circulatory system get it, getting it moving and flexibility also because the older we get the more flexibility we need okay so jackie just put in the bell peppers and the celery and the, and the carrots and then all of the seasonings which are we put all of these already in together half a teaspoon of cumin half a teaspoon of smoked paprika i left the cumin and smoked paprika Smell out it. So if we need to add a little bit more because we both love those seasonings. Uh, a teaspoon of dried thyme, a half teaspoon each of garlic powder and onion powder and some crap malacca of pepper as well. So this is just going to saute for about another five minutes. I did add a little bit more low sodium veggie broth just because it was getting a little bit dry and we're looking pretty good actually. Yeah, anytime you're using low sodium veggie broth to cook and it starts to dry out, just add some more. Like don't douse it with too much or it's too liquidy. Just keep adding little increments of it to saute your vegetables. And we have a lot of colors in here. And when you have a lot of colors and you're eating the rainbow, it means you're getting so many different vitamins and minerals and phytonutrients. So not only do we want a lot of plant diversity, we want to eat the rainbow as well. And we've got the rainbow going on. We do. I think we're good here. I think we are good. All right, so let's refer back to our recipe that we haven't cooked in a while. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm just going to move this aside a little bit. Oh, the other parts of there, you got the, have the recipe. Okay. Yeah. Same great amounts. All right, so I think this is where we put in. All right, so we already did this step. We blended up three quarters of the lentils in an immersion blender in Marcia's amazing Vitamix. So we are going to now... Combine the sauteed vegetables with the lentils, oats, oat flour, and flax egg. Okay, so oat flour, oat milk, oat milk, sorry, oat milk, oat flour, lentils, lentils okay, the, the smashed ones or the other ones? I don't want the wrong ones in. I'm almost positive it's this one. Okay. <laughs> She's like, I don't know. <laughs> it has to be. It has yes, to be. Yes, it is. Okay, there we go. Flax egg. Flax egg. Here, let me get a little spin going. Spin action. This one. Let me get a little spin. No, you have it. You know what you're doing. 
Okay, so see how the flax is? It's like like an egg yolk, how egg yolks would be. Look. <laughs> and then all of the veggies. Oh, let me grab this. Okay. That's gonna that's hot. Hot tamales, here we go. <laughs> Alright, so let's get this vegetables. Alright, this is hot tamales. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we got all the vegetables. And then Marcia is just mixing it all up, combining everything. Yums, yums, yums. And then where is that loaf pan? It's right here. Just make sure it's stirred well. You guys know how meatloaf is. I might have to get your fingers in there in a minute. Make sure it's stirred all the way through. Yep, with our vegetables. What's the next step, Jackie? I think we're going to pour, taste and add more herbs or spices to your liking. All right, so we're going to taste this. That's the good part of cooking. You're going to eat as you go along. <laughs> Definitely more spices. I'm assuming cumin and paprika? Yes. I feel like we need some more sea salt, too. All right. All right, you know what? The sauce. We love cumin. Yes. Sprinkle I just hate that you do it. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. We're just, oh, like you yes. can just never have enough smoked paprika and cumin. This one, I was actually adding to my taco soup and I put too much in, remember? Yes, that was so funny, the entire thing. I literally was like, <laughs> Really? Oh, oops. Okay, just plenty. A little bit of sea salt. Our vegetables and saute pan. All right. Make sure we mix this well so it tastes good. What's next? After we're done, we just put it in here. Yeah. All right, so let's just make sure remember what we do with those. Do we just put them in? Yeah, because this so would be, be like chunky. Chunky. Yeah, yeah, we'll all right. Chunky. So we'll mix those in. And if you don't have a spoon, oh, it's nice and warm. It's nice and warm. Mm -hmm. Our neighbors are sure that we have our, food, our hand fingers in here. <laughs> We're cooking it out. <laughs> We're made with, made with love. No, <laughs> it's made with love. We, we promise we have been washing our hands. <laughs> but we've been washing them a lot. And thank goodness it's cooking at 350 degrees. This is a nice thing. Everything we're preparing is going to cook in the oven, except for the frozen um, dessert. It's going to cook in the oven at 350 degrees. So we're going to have several different things cooking while we make our plants skipping. Yeah, and the reason why we, here's the thing, like spices, you get to be the judge of how, I would say not spicy, but how you want it to taste. Flavors. Have the flavors, yes. Some people right. have really sensitive taste buds and they're like, whoa, that's too much, and others do not. They want more flavor. So it really just kind of depends on you. So Jack and I always like to have a base for flavor, and then we're like, we might need more of this, we might need more of that. And it just kind of depends too. Because I feel like every time we do make something, the flavors actually do change depending on how much we have, how much we don't have. And that's one of the things that we call that is food freedom. Food freedom. So we have like an outline for what the mm. recipe is, but then you always taste test it and add what you think you need to add. I feel like it needs a little oregano too. Oh, let's go. That's a point. So here's the thing, you guys, tasting it. When you're in the kitchen a lot, you'll know these flavors. <laughs> I never cooked before I went plant-based. I was a fast food girl and takeout girl. And when I went plant-based, thank you, I uh, started learning about food and flavors and how these ingredients can help nourish and heal you. Because I used to diet and exercise. Now I nourish and train, like in the gym. I think about, you know, making my body strong instead of going for the aesthetic part. I think about 
you when it comes to food, how's this going to nourish me and heal me and make me feel good? It's about feeling good, guys. It's all about feeling good. And when you are nourishing and healing your body and you're feeding yourself this delicious food that we're making, it's amazing the energy that you have. You, just, you literally feel better. And like Marcy was talking about earlier, normally after you have a big dessert or you have a big Thanksgiving, not even Thanksgiving, a big Thanksgiving dinner or Friendsgiving dinner, they're really heavy foods. You literally want to go home or do a spray oil just to coat so it. And stick. A little avocado oil. Yeah, so you literally, normally when you're having a Thanksgiving dinner or a Thanksgiving dinner that's super heavy or rich, and even if you just have some foods that are super heavy and rich, you just feel sleepy after. You will notice, and I can't wait for Keith and Monique and Monique's husband, Otto, to tell us how they feel after we eat our dinner tonight because they will feel like, They'll feel energized. It's going to be amazing. Yes. Energized. You won't feel heavy or sleepy. You won't be gut busting where you're so full of empty here. Like somebody, I used to gut bust and eat so much food. Oh, yeah. Ditto. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm. Here we go. This. Let's show them what it looks like. Yes. This is the lentil loaf. Oh, it's heavy too. So remember, there's lentils in here, there's oatmeal. So this is gonna be really, really satiating. And we're gonna put this in the oven, bake it at 350 degrees for 40 to 50 minutes. So I'm gonna throw it in. We already preheated the oven before the show. Putting it on the center rack. I'm gonna put it in the middle for now until we start adding everything else. All right, there you go. And I'm gonna put a timer on my phone because we're timing a bazillion things here today. I know you guys were like trying to get ready for all this. Okay, let's say, uh, Mark says, nice, thanks Mark. <laughs> says, you may have already said this, but where do we get the recipes? So a few of these recipes are in our book, our seven day challenge, but there are a few that are not because Jackie and I are in the middle of the process of creating a holiday ebook. So these, these recipes will not be like in our other eBooks, but we will post them for you guys to see. So Amazon, if you go to our Amazon page, you'll see Plant Chicks, follow the Amazon page. And Jackie and I will get, uh, we'll put the picture of it with the recipe below. And what you can do is you can also start writing down the ingredients as we're saying them on the live. But yeah, it'll be way easier. We'll have the individual pictures and you'll have the ingredients for everything. So yeah. Good. I like it because Amazon now has this feature where they put the pictures or a video and then right at the very top of the page and you can just see the picture like, oh, that's the lentil loaf. Click, there's recipe. And it will have everything that you need from Amazon. For instance, if we make the, the vegan pecan, pecan pie tartlets or they think how they call <laughs> and you need that like those uh, silicone tray for them. We'll, we'll have that on there as well. So, so awesome. Love how convenient to make it for everybody. Love, love, love. All right, next, one of my favorite recipes, green bean casserole. Well, I'm going to rinse out this pan a little bit. Watch out. Oh, Come yeah. in hot. Come in hot. <laughs> Watch out, guys. Okay. All right. This is a new spin, a different spin on green bean, green bean casserole. So a lot of us were used to the onions on top. Well, just know that some of the, the onions, the fried onions, are fried and have egg on it. So a lot of vegan people won't do that. But they actually have vegan ones as well. Jack and I did ours a little different this time. We're actually going to have it make a more whole food plant-based. And we're going to put walnuts on top of it. So it's just a different spin. But we're still going to have the creamy sauce. So it's still going to be delicious. It's so. going to be delicious. All right, tell me what we need and I'll okay. bring them over to you. So here we go. We got our green beans. We need uh, uh, the pound of mushrooms. You guys love mushrooms. Hold up. Yep, got our mushrooms. We got some balsamic vinegar or something. Oh, here. that was soy sauce. Yeah. Soy sauce. Okay. yeah. okay, so we do need our soy sauce. All right. Sea salt. I have the dried oregano and the dried thyme. Sea salt, dry thyme. Okay, so this is the ingredients for how to marinate the mushrooms. So we're gonna start with those first. Oh, wait. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh, but, oh yeah, with the salt. There we go. Perfect. So we have.
green beans, mushrooms. But the first thing that we're going to do right now is um, do the, the mushrooms first. Okay, so we're going to saute them in this. You know that mushrooms hold some water, so it's going to be a little watery. So you don't want to put a ton of low sodium veggie broth to saute just for the fact that it does have a lot of water because you notice when you cook them, it has natural water. We're sauteing with the soy sauce, no? Soy sauce and the spices. No. Yes, so mushrooms with two to three tablespoons. It says um, a veggie broth, but I would say just a little splash to see, just in case. And then um, I think I'm gonna make the cream sauce while she's going ahead to she's Yay. doing that. So, the regular one, you guys know that when you guys do the green bean sa sauce, they have that cream of mushroom, you know, the, that comes with it. Well, this time we're going to have cashews. That's what's going to make it creamy. So cashews are a healthy fat. They're delicious. And again, this is another whole food ingredient versus cream of mushroom. Because I always think, what is cream of mushroom really made of? When there's mushrooms, does it make a cream? <laughs> I don't know, like a cream. Unless you blend it up. I don't know. And add mush and uh, add cashews. But think of think of the processed mushroom, like the cream of mushrooms, how processed. It comes in a can, and the can can last for years on the shelf. How nutritious is that going to be? Probably not. Shit, it's not. <laughs> probably not as oops as nutritious. So you know, when things don't expire, that's like a hint to run. Get the heat out. <laughs> Just say no. Okay, so while Jackie's working on the mushrooms, I'm gonna do the cashew cream sauce. So the cashews it says one and a half cups soaked cashews. So we already soaked them. So we're gonna put the one and a half cups there. And then the next one is gonna be two cups of water. So we're gonna grab two cups of water. You know what I'm also gonna do? What's that? I'm also going to, oh, here's water. Oh, yeah. So you're going to need that one, too. Two cups. Let's get our measuring cups out. So Marcia just got these new Mountain Valley because she normally gets the glass bottles. But let me tell you, they're hard to open. You guys, this is the one that won't open. It's not <laughs> user friendly. No, there's a couple of them. They won't open. And they're so hard. Like, we have to write the company. Here's another thing. These are new to the company. So I feel like they need to know. They, these don't open, which is insane. So while I am making the or cutting the mushrooms, look, they're not opening. They're not going to get any water. <laughs> <laughs> no. Like this is my third one. I'm like, listen, they need to know this, and it's not like we're being critical of them. It's just like, hey, you could, these tops could be a little more user friendly because they just slide around. There's nothing. It's crazy. All right, let's see. Let's try another one. So look at the draw. Here we go. Oh my gosh! No! Did it open? No, these are just, oh, this is the third one. Like, how do we get in them? <laughs> these are like adult oh, fruit. They are toy. I just want some water, you know? <laughs> do we have other water? I got some water. Oh, I'll be like asking, do you guys know I like to use clean water in my thing? No, not to say that the place where I live don't have clean water, but... I always like Mountain Valley water. So while I'm also sauteing the mushrooms, and I think I'm going to start sauteing the green beans a little bit as well, I'm going to start on the mushroom gravy because we're actually having mushroom gravy. We're going to add some mushroom gravy on top of the lentil loaf, but we're also going to use some of this mushroom gravy in this green bean casserole. So we're cheating a little bit, or is this even cheating? No, I don't think so. Totally not cheating. But we're using the Simply Organic Mushroom Mix from Whole Foods, 360, no, it's not, yeah, Simply Organic. So you can get this on Amazon, obviously, but we're going to use two packets because we're using it for a couple different things. All you do is mix this with one cup water each, so I'm using two packets, two cups of water. And it's on the carousel below in case you want to know. And then, so for this cashew dressing right here, we're going to put some garlic. And this right here called for... You know, one clove of garlic, but you know we didn't put one, we put in like two. So. Uh, some sea salt, just like an eighth of a teaspoon. And then it asks for like one to two 
a few tablespoons of juice of a lemon. I'm just going to pour a little bit because this is one of those things you want to taste. You always want to taste it. All right, so let me get the lid to this and blend it up. Here we go, guys. Crumble. Well, <laughs> this, so it's, well, this sauté's a little bit longer. 
walnut crumbles here. Oh, that's, that's all here. we know. Yep. All right, we'll we'll that let's pour, pour that on the top. Water. And then let me see. If Do you have on top? Is this delicious or just healthy? It's actually both. So we will eat it if it's healthy and it tastes like cardboard. I was just going to say that. Do you have a lid? Yes. Um, here we go. Thank you. We will only eat it if it tastes delicious. Now, if a recipe doesn't taste good, we will modify it or we are cooking it for you. Because sometimes, I don't know if you know, the cooking show that I have, Milk Up with Marcy, I cook things I've never cooked before right in front of you from people's books. And if I don't like it, I let you know it doesn't taste good. Or you need to add this or you need to add that. It's all about modifying. At the end of the day, remember, taste buds are different for everybody. And literally any recipe that we have in our Plant Chicks programs and any kind of recipe book that we have, any ebook. They have been tested, we've made them ourselves, and they are delicious. 100%, we will not share a recipe that does not taste good. We're not, not happening. That. Not happening. <laughs> not doing that. All right, let's have a cook maybe like five more minutes. Yeah, five more minutes. And then we'll add it to, and then we can put it in the oven. Sounds good. Perfect. Okay. So should we start working so on- So would it be in this dish? Yeah. Okay. All right. Dun, dun, dun. Oh wait, how many plant points did we have in the green bean casserole? Oh yeah, we gotta do plant points on this one. Yes, yeah, so we've got the green beans. We have the walnuts. Do we have walnuts and something? Yeah, we already had eight walnuts and something mm -hmm. else. Um, mushrooms. Soy sauce doesn't count. No. Da, 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 da. Cashews. We haven't had cashews yet, right? Nope, not yet. Lemon. Yep. We already had garlic. All right, so we've got four plant points in this one. Four plant points. So what are we at? Fourteen? We are. Fourteen. Really good memory, girl. Really 14. good memory. And you need 30 plant points per week, like you need different plants per week, to optimize your gut microbiome. 30. We're already getting half that right here in one meal, like a Thanksgiving dinner meal. Okay. This is going to be fun. I know. Okay, someone who said recipes, one of the recipes is in our seven our plant chick seven day ebook. The rest of the recipes Jackie and I are creating this holiday guide, but we will post them on our Amazon page after the picture. So if you go to Plant Chicks on Amazon Live, you'll look for our page, follow us, and you'll see at the very top there's a carousel of pictures and we take pictures of our recipes and it will have the recipe next to it. You so see? the mushroom gravy is looking so good. Is it's it? nice and thick. I turned it down. Oh yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's just start with the, the next one. Who likes a good sweet potato casserole? Love me a sweet potato casserole. My that my stepfather, he's like my dad. He is from Georgia originally, and his mother made the best. They call it a sweet potato souffle. Like here, it's a sweet potato casserole. I was saying it, I was calling it a sweet potato uh, souffle to Marcy, and she's like, what? I'm like, what's that? <laughs> I've never heard of a souffle, but sweet potato souffle. It's a, seriously, it's like a Southern Georgia thing. But this is a really delicious sweet potato casserole. And y'all, we used three large, large sweet potatoes. We baked them this morning before our live. So we cut them up, we diced them up, and we took off the skin. That part killed me, but <laughs> For the sweet potato casserole, you can't have those skins in there, or it tastes a little bit better, the texture is better. These are super, super high in vitamin A, beta carotene, and they're super, super healthy, delicious. They have a natural sweetness in and of themselves. We don't have to add any sugar. A lot of times when people make a sweet potato casserole, they'll add extra sugar. Brown sugar, lots of brown sugar. Dude. Why? I know, it's too much. Way too much. It's crazy town. So we are just using sweet potatoes. All right, I think we should get that, put that in there because it's going to bake it. I think you're right. I was just wondering if it needs to cook maybe a couple. Let's do a hot pan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jackie was going to touch it with her fingers. <laughs> that would not be a good thing. The recipes, okay, the recipes from the seven day ebook, are they the same in your 30 day ebook? No, they're totally two different recipes. We made sure we had different recipes. For each ebook. Every time we do an ebook, there will always be different recipes. We don't believe in repeating the same thing. So, do you, you want to put these in that? Yeah, thing? let's do it. Not okay. It. Not with all the juice, though. The smart one. <laughs> Have a little bit of juice. Oh, Jack is like, a little. Just for like a little flavoring. 
little bit? How much is a little bit for you? Maybe they're probably good, don't you think? I don't know. Maybe I think they're quite okay. Yeah. Gonna... You're right, you know what? Let's just use it. You're right. <gasps> you guys, this smells so good. It's so good. This looks really amazing. Oh my god, I'm so hungry. That looks good just by itself. Yes. But we get a quart this cream sauce. Here we go. Oh. Oh, <laughs> we're both like, oh yeah. <laughs> now this is the part where, again, I may have made too much, obviously from my recipe judgments. <laughs> we're oh. just gonna put enough in to coat it. This looks really good, you guys. Oh my gosh. Oh, holy delicious. I think that's enough. That's perfect. And I don't think that we need any mushroom gravy with it. No, I think that's perfect. Let's see. Taste it. Isn't it good? Yes. <laughs> Snack your mama good. <laughs> it's literally delicious. Okay. And then we're taking the walnuts. Oops, sorry. Yeah. And <laughs> we're going to crumble them on top. Oh. Perfect. And how many walnuts? Like a cupish? Yeah, it was about a cup. And I, and I chopped them up and crumbled them. And this literally, we're going to make it for like 20 to 30 minutes. We're just going to double check on the time. It doesn't have to bake super long because everything's pretty much cooked already. Yeah, right. so there you go. So we're going to open this up, put it on the top shelf. Oh, actually, I need the hot minute because I'm going to move the lint a little over. That would be wise. <laughs> that would be wise, right? Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited. This is going to be so oh, delicious. It's looking good. So every now and then I'll check your guys' uh, comments on here and try to answer you. So if you see me on my phone, it's not like I'm not paying attention. I'm trying to answer you guys back. So. so now we are going to make a delicious sweet potato casserole. Hold on. 14, so 24, 34. We'll look around 134. 34? Okay. Yeah, we'll kind of check. Sounds good. We're making the sweet potato casserole. So we have literally three pounds of, three pounds, three <laughs> large baked sweet potatoes that we just baked in the oven. We typically use the uh, bake them at 450 degrees for about an hour. So you can check anywhere between 45 minutes and an hour, see how your ovens work. But 450, we're adding three quarter cup plant milk. Do you have like a masher? Um, not an official masher, but I actually, I use this. Perfect. <laughs> so you, Marquis going to be in charge of mashing. So I'm adding the plant milk. We used, we used oat milk, you can use coconut, you can use whatever you want. And this is cinnamon, let me just look. Cinnamon, we have a half teaspoon of cinnamon, a little bit of pink Himalayan sea salt, a little bit of powdered sugar, not powdered sugar, powdered ginger. <laughs> like Where's the sugar coming yeah. from? <laughs> I know, yeah, seriously. Quarter teaspoon of powdered ginger, and a little bit of nutmeg, but I think instead of nutmeg, we use pumpkin pie spice. We use pumpkin pie spice because it has everything in it. Mm -hmm. I love some. Oh my gosh, that just smells so good just pouring it on there. It smells great. I know. I really need to get a masher, guys. This is so funny. Why do you need a masher? You got that. You got right. your muscles. I know. This, this is like, out. and this is like super easy to make. Now, what we also did, we are going to top this with some vegan marshmallows. But we don't add the marshmallows on top until like the last five minutes that they're in the oven. And this is optional. For me, if you're going to make this, maybe you just make like part of it with marshmallows because maybe not everyone likes the sweet. Let me tell you. This is you know, good. These are dandies. Dandies have the best vegan marshmallows. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think we're nice and mashed. And mashed. There we go. Jackie. We'll just put it in here. Pour it in. Oops, man, damn. <laughs> That's how we are when we cook. <laughs> so we just kind of spread it evenly throughout here. That was super simple. And now I'm going to put that in the oven. I'm going to put it on the bottom just because there's more room. That was fast. That was fast. And you guys just watched us make one, two, three, four dishes right in front of you. So as long as you have two people, you're good. <laughs> Exactly. If it's one person, it might take a little longer, but... So yeah. we are going to bake the sweet potato casserole for 20 minutes, and then we will add the marshmallows on top to let them brown and, like, kind of fluff up 
fluff up a little bit. It's going to be super delish. But we've got one more thing to prepare for you guys, and that's a beautiful holiday salad. So we already have some greens in here. Use whatever greens are your favorite. See, we have some spinach, some power greens. We have some microgreens, all kinds of goodies. And you just like throw them in your gorgeous bowl. We have some cut up parsley, raw pecans. I'm just gonna throw everything in here. Wait, we didn't, how many plant points does sweet potatoes have? Dang. We gotta find that out. Cause we were, four, we were 14. So oat milk doesn't really count. And if we would have made the oat milk ourselves, it would have counted. So the sweet yeah. potato casserole just has one, the sweet potatoes. And the holiday salad, I have to write it over here. So we're at 15, 15, 15 plant 15. points. And then our holiday salad, we'll figure that out in just a second. So I'm gonna, we've got in our spinach. These are actually power greens, right? Yes, they're power greens. So there's a bunch of different greens in there, but we're just, gonna, we're gonna cheat and say it's only one green with the power green, but literally it's probably 10. And we're also gonna say the microgreens. So that's gonna say, we're just gonna act like this is two plant points, but literally it's probably a good solid six to 10. Yeah, there was about six different, six different ones in there. Yeah, maybe we should just say six. Pecans, remember we've already had pecans, but we're gonna throw the pecans in. We're just gonna sprinkle them in. Voila. Some dates, they're chopped up. This one's like maybe three or four uh, pitted dates. We already, we've already had dates, but I'm just gonna throw these in here too. Kind of. <laughs> oh, we have parsley too. Yes. So can. this green right here, that's mm -hmm. an extra one. We've got some dried cranberries. Now, when you look for dried cranberries or dried fruit in general, make sure that you read the label. You don't want them when they have added sugar. So these are just straight up dried Cherries can be a nice flavor. I love dried cherries. I do too. And how about these pomegranate seeds? All of them or half? Do it all. <laughs> Do it, girl. This is going to be a really nice. Wait, hold on, hold on. I know. They're so good. good. They were so good. They're so sweet. I know. I think I need a spoonful of them. They're, they're like the best when it's like holiday time. Oh my gosh. Because sometimes they're sour, but these are very sweet right now. They're in season. I don't know if you know this. Jackie and I, every month, we post what food is in season. When you eat food in season, it actually has more nutrition. It's more nutrient. I would say greater. It's better for your gut. So know that than a, a, a fruit or vegetable that is not in season. Okay. They're so good. We have a cut up radish. Murphy is getting us power because her laptop is about to die. And then we also have a cut up apple. One apple, today we used a Fuji apple. If you don't like Fuji apples, choose which apple you like, and that's the apple that you put in the salad. We're cutting this up. So we're gonna have a nice set between sweet, tangy, and green. So we're gonna have all kinds of good stuff in here. And if your apple, like you cut it up, what you might want to do is squeeze a little bit of lemon on top because that can stop the brownie. Yep. I'm going to eat a little apple too while, we, while we're at it. Yes. Oh, so good. And here's the dressing. So we have a, like two tablespoons of lemon, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, mm -hmm. and then we have three tablespoons of date syrup. So again, you know how healthy dates are? This is from Date Lady. The Date Lady has the best date syrup. You can make your own, but if you're trying to save time, it is best just to have it pre-done, like just like the mushroom sauce, <laughs> pre-done. And we're just gonna shake it so it's gonna be a little sweet with a little kick. And this is our dressing. Now we're not gonna put the dressing on right now. We're gonna wait to put the dressing on when we're ready to eat. That way, it's the salad stays fresh. Everyone has their stuff plated, and they're able to add, their, um, add as much dressing as they want. I have a feeling because there's gonna be four of us, we're gonna need more dressing than this. Yeah, I think we're definitely gonna need more dressing. Than that. <laughs> Especially for the salad, but this is just kind of like we've actually we made more of the salad because there's four of us. This is actually dressing for two people. So just FYI, but since we're having four, I should have doubled the recipe, but I was 
we were in a hurry getting ready, so double the recipe. Look at how good this looks. Like this could be a meal in and of itself. If I was just eating this for like a lunch or whatever, I would add in some beans and also maybe some sweet potatoes or something or some kind of potatoes. But this salad looks like it's gonna be so good. So yeah, so good. think about this. We just made a main dish, with, which is instead of a turkey, we made a lentil loaf with mushroom gravy. Okay, that's the main dish. A side dish we made is the green bean casserole, the sweet potatoes casserole. Yeah. Uh, what else did we make? The green bean casserole, the sweet potato casserole, the salad, and uh, then the dessert. The dessert. dessert. So we've got our holiday salad and those delicious desserts. Yes. Mm -hmm. so, and then let's see, how long have we been on here? Do you know? Let's see, what, what time is it? 124. Oh my wow. God. <laughs> We thought this was going to be like an hour and a half. I cannot believe that we have like... We made this. We were 10 minutes late, right? Yes. This may be 15. Okay. Wow. This no is a lot faster way. than it's going to take for sure. We started about 12.15. Oh, 12.15. It's 1.24. Yeah. No, we thought it was going to be like an hour and a half. So it's maybe an hour and 10 minutes that we've done this. This was fast. That was fast. An hour and 10 minutes. Like, yes, we have, since we've made the lentil loaf, we've got like 10 more minutes on yeah. the lentil loaf. Yeah. So that's actually pretty good. Let's put the cream sauce in something because we can also blend the rest of the dates and we can start, we can see how the desserts look. It's all about those desserts. I know. You guys, I can't wait to have this, I was going to say mushroom cream sauce, not a mushroom, but this cashew cream. Look how creamy that is. And you can literally, like, this can be a really good thing for macaroni and cheese. You can use it, like, as a noodle. Yeah, I was just going to say, like, an Alfredo sauce. <gasps> oh, that's, that's dinner tonight, guys. We just made dinner to the menu. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my yes. gosh. This is definitely Alfredo. It has tastes like an Alfredo sauce. Mm, taste it again. I know. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, my God, that is just so dang good. Not literally. We should have some mushrooms because the mushrooms with Alfredo. And we got we got noodles. Oh, oh, we're already creating dinner. And we got salad left over. <laughs> oh, and cheesy. You guys can't see this right now, but my dog is literally sleeping. <laughs> She's waiting for food. She's waiting for food. She was exhausted from watching us. She's like, I want a <laughs> piece of apple. I want a piece of something. She's like, all right, I'm gonna go sleep here. She's a smart dog because I would be doing the same thing. Marcia makes some really, really good food. I love coming to work with Marcia because she's always cooking. Like I really don't have to do anything while I'm here. And when I'm at home, I'm always cooking. So it's a very nice break. So she's gonna be coming to Miami in January probably. Yep. And the roles will be reversed then. I'll get to cook. But I might have to recruit her to cook. I know. She does like it when I cook better. She's like, here, take it away. <laughs> Which I have to say, I really don't mind cooking. I could be in the kitchen all day. Um, I just need my, my friend Monique to clean for me. <laughs> yes, Monique is the best cleaner. Monique actually is our head of PR here at Plant Chicks. You guys saw we announced it recently. And she comes on all our shoots. And she literally is like on the back end helping us out with everything. Like timing our videos. She is like getting us on schedule with stuff. And... The bonus, we didn't even ask her to do this, but she cleans up after us. Oven. I know. It that smells so delicious. So but she cleans up everything and it's and we were like, whoa, it's like she does like that. It's magical. But anyways, everybody needs a Monique. Everybody needs a Monique and everyone needs a, a Tiffany who's also on this. Yes, that's that's right. the, we're gonna blend up the rest of the dates for the oh, con. Sorry, I was like setting you to the side, guys. Sidetrack. Okay. With this water too? Yeah. Sure. I don't know if it's going to need all the water, but I have a feeling it's probably going to need a, like a decent amount of it. Oh, okay. Because that's a, that water's sweet. Oh, ah, okay. Good to say. Yeah. I get it. Okay, so we need the lid to that. I don't know where the lid is. Oh, there we go. We have <laughs> lots of dishes to wash. A Monique, if you're listening, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> that is funny. Here we go, guys. It's going to be loud. And we're definitely going to have to watch it. Oh my 
And so now all my dinners are, are for Thanksgiving are Thanksgiving. So I'm always creating these amazing plant-based dishes. And in my family be like, what are you eating? What is that? What's, what's going on yes. there? Everyone's curious. So you can change it. Don't think, oh, I'm just going to back to staple and go back. No, try new things, new traditions. That's what it's all about. I'm always like the food leader in my family. of like, hey, we're going to try this. We're going to try that. Instead of having like an old staple, I will take an old staple and I will plant base it, right? I will see what it is. What it has something that's refined or processed and I'll change it to make it healthier. I will take it if it's animal product and I will make it plants and I will make that same dish taste just as delicious with plants. And it is seriously it's not that hard and you just have to give yourself some time too like it might take some time for your taste buds to adjust but i guarantee you if you were coming to our thanksgiving dinner in just like 30 minutes you would be 100 percent happy and satisfied and your taste buds would like be exploding because the food that we are making is super super delicious and you're going to be like she said like full you're not going to be like gut busting like i feel ill you're gonna be full, like pleasantly full, where you could still be like, I have energy, not full where I need to go take a nap. <laughs> right. And that's a huge difference. It's actually a nice difference. It is it's a huge difference. So while I watch everybody, you know, some of my Do you think we could done or cook a little bit longer? I think cook a little bit longer. Okay. Yeah. And and if this isn't done by the by the time we're done with our life, we will take a picture for it all and put it on our our uh, I was gonna say our Amazon live page. You guys, if you're new to Amazon or you're just getting on here finding this out, Plant Chicks have an Amazon page. Please follow us. It'll give you notifications for when we go live. We go live a few times a week. We give you free workouts, free, obviously, cooking lessons <laughs> and ways to change things. We're just inspiring you to eat more plants. So we give you that so that you guys have these tools to be healthier in your life. So please follow our Amazon page. We're always updating it with different products that we use. Um, we have it in different sections, and these are all products or things that we use, or clothes, or whatever it is. These are plant chicks approved. These are things that we use in everyday life, and we want you guys to have access to it. We always have people ask us, where did you get that? Whether it's workout clothes, um, your cooking, um, that glass bowl, or whatever, you know, whether we're cooking, working out, or doing something, people want to know where to get that. So I love that how Amazon conveniently has everything, one-stop shop. Um, we're able to put our videos on there, our workouts, our cooking classes, um, categorize all the products that we use, and give you pictures of it, just like you know, social media, all on top that we can put our recipes and exactly what we're wearing, all on the carous like the carousel of the entire page, Amazon page, for you. So if you haven't checked our page, go check it out. Everyone's curious like how to go plant-based or how to add more plants to your plate. And that's what we're here for. We're just here to teach you to be healthier so you can optimize your life. And that's what it's all about. You need to optimize to feel your best, right? Yeah, and that's one of the things. We've actually transitioned. We do the majority of our lives here on Amazon because it is so much easier. People are always asking, where do you get this? How do you do that? And it's just so much easier to do that one-stop shopping, literally, here on Amazon. So we absolutely love that they created these Amazon Live. And it's just a huge perk, not only to us, but to you, most importantly, to you. And we can share all of our favorites, like Marcia said. And, okay, so I just took out the sweet potato casserole, and I'm putting, I'm topping it with those vegan marshmallows. And then we'll put it in the oven for about five more minutes and let it brown. And if we end the live before they're brown, don't worry, come back to our page, make sure you like and follow our page, and then you will see the beautiful brown uh, sweet potato souffle with those delicious vegan marshmallows. Yeah, so we'll show you everything on the page. I, what I do is like to take pictures because a lot of times when I do these Amazon Lives, and I personally cook, it may not be done or ready by the end of it, so I always take a picture so you guys can see it. And even if we show you in person, you guys, pictures are much prettier. <laughs> when you guys see the pictures, you're like, oh yes. Oh my gosh, this the sweet, or the green bean casserole. Oh my I God. cannot wait, cannot wait to taste this. That was the one that she originally wanted in the get-go. Oh yes. Ooh, this does look 
cut it though and make we'll sure. We'll cut it and see. I'm going to pull this the top. Oops. Jackie is over here in control. <laughs> We're rearranging a couple of things. Should we cut the meatloaf? Okay. Yeah. Let's go, ahead. Let's go ahead and check that. So, like I said, pivot when you cook. You have to either add more spices, uh, less ingredients for the next time that you'll know. Timing things are always different. Um, I only have one oven. Usually, with you know cooking with Thanksgiving, you kind of need to pre-bake some things or have two ovens, which really helps. So. Yeah, but this was pretty good. Like we really did fly through this. I'm impressed that we got all of this done in such a short amount of time. And what I can't wait to do is to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you guys for joining us. We will put the pictures on our Amazon page, so don't forget to follow the plant chicks. And we'll see you next week back to our regular schedule with workouts and meal prep with Marcia. And you guys, happy, happy, happy Plantsgiving. Plantsgiving. That's like a tongue twister. <laughs> happy Plantsgiving. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>